So I started designing garments since I was really, really young because my mom is a, a dressmaker, so I was helping her a lot since I was really little. Around three, three years old, like uh, uh, organize and bundling all panels to get together for for garment. So my mom and my auntie was surprised. Say, how do you know it? Like you are just three. But that was kind of a, a moment for me. <laughs> During this uh, COVID nineteen, I've been stay home for eight months already. <laughs> Particularly living with a big family here, like with my brother family and my parents and my niece and my nephew sometimes running around so from my home area outside the park so I walk around there and something I really enjoy is like the, the, the flower in front of my house so it's something I do for every every day like every morning I go out and then just like make sure they, they are look beautiful. Learning how to get onto a knitting machine when I at uni, and when I show it to my tutor and and she see that I say, okay, Chris, you have some potential on this. Maybe you can push it. And during that time, I was like, kind of like, no, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. So that was a huge challenge. But I think it's a good thing to have my my tutor keep pushing me at, at behind me, say, just try it and 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 do it. But for knitwear, the pattern making is one side, but another side is like how I can create all these stitches together and to make sure the surface and how they work in a way they can get a certain shape as well. Sometimes I have to hand knit it in, in some area and put them all together. It takes quite a while to from a scratch to the end. The original uh, stitches and patterns I will create here and then take pictures or sending swatches over to the factory and then tell them, say, replicate all these uh, stitches and I tell them the uh, uh, instructions of how, how I make it. Like, I think material is something I really focus on because I don't really like to talk seasons. I think the first thing for me is the texture and also the mood of how I want this garment to feel like and look like. The factory I work with, they, they take small orders. I don't want to lose the reputation maybe, or maybe to lose the, the quality of my design. That's why I still running kind of like in a small place. I think it's a really interesting thing to, to title me as a menswear designer or a knitwear designer. I don't really put into a gender to it. Like I did use male model for my lookbooks, all that kind of thing, but 80% of my private client is females. So it's really hard to justify like, is it men's wear or women's wear? Lately, like, um, because the, the restriction, people's like the way of behaving and, and how they dress themselves, it's start to have a question mark. Like, I have to make some change in a way of like, when I draw down, each garment or each design, but but it still I have to digest that. Like, is it necessary to have these pieces in the collection, or or maybe I can push it even further? So it gives me more time to think about like what I should do next. Like a basic garment, how I can make it more interesting and the way to mix match for inter or outerwear together. But I guess for me it's kind of interesting, like, and fun to to face all this unknown and take the challenge and and go for it. Just believe what I believe as usual, and we'll be good.